Willie D. Live. What's up, family? According to Ariel Mitchell Kidd, a lawyer for one of Diddy's accusers, a video exists of Diddy and a high profile celebrity, one that is even bigger than him, getting down. You know, doing that stuff that they be doing. And they say it's a male fan. Ah, oh, yeah. The big question is, who's in the video? Who's in the video? Now, the lawyer says that the person who has possession of the video doesn't want to hurt that person that is in the video with Diddy. But they will if they don't get that money. Well, she didn't say those words, but she did say they didn't want to hurt him. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't really want to hurt you, but if you don't give me uh, $50 million, I'm going to have to put this video out. The attorney also says there is at least one, maybe two major networks that are in a bidding war to get their hands on that tape. Question is, what the hell are they gonna do with it after they get their hands on it if the person in the tape was recorded without their knowledge? Because that's illegal. So the person who has the tape can sell the tape and get their bread, but the person who buys the tape is going to have a problem disseminating the tape, right? They're gonna have a problem, unless it's one of those foreign, uh, person in a foreign country, because they can get away with a lot. In the US, not so much, but if they're located overseas, depending on what country they're in, they could put it out on the open market and boom, hey fam, it's free game. What I want to know is, how did the person who has possession of the tape get possession of the tape in the first place? It could be anybody. It could be a maid. It could be a butler. It could be the repairman or woman. It could be a family member. Something to think about. Family, this is why, unless you don't mind a video of yourself being seen by the whole world while you're doing your private stuff, you should not record it. Unless you are actually working in the adult film industry, you should not record yourself having sex because there is a chance that it could get out. Anything that can happen might happen. You dig what I'm saying? See, that's how I rock. I don't think it's a good idea to record your freaky self and have recordings of that freaky act on your phone, in your closet, in your entertainment system. It's just a bad idea because if you can see it, somebody else can see it. Here's another thing to think about. I be thinking about all kinds of stuff. Neither of us know when the time or day will come for our death. When that time and day comes, are you okay with people seeing what's on your phone? because there's a good chance, even with a lock on your phone, your family is going to want to open it up and perhaps see what it looks like, see what's in there. There's a good chance that if you got it hidden in your closet, at the, at the very bottom, tucked up under your whatever, somebody's gonna find it. If it's in the attic, if it's in the basement, somebody's going to find it and see it one day. You cool with that? Drop a comment, fam. 
I'd love to hear your thoughts. No more talk.